Now to good health here at five. The Olympics inspire a lot of people to get in better shape. It's kind of hard not to feel mm -hmm. guilty, right? When you were mm -hmm. looking at all these people at the very height of it. But most of us aren't exactly ready to jump right into <laughs> gymnastics or pick up the javelin. Right. It's, it's, you know? it's not that easy. So the good doctor is here with one Olympic sport that many consider to be the ideal exercise and a perfect choice, Doc. It really is, Kimberly and Devin. Now, you know, while any exercise is better than nothing, if you want to combine cardiovascular exercise with a workout that really strengthens your muscles in both your upper and lower body, rowing is your answer. And the best part is, it's never too late to start. Here at the Wyandotte Bow Club, men and women of all ages, backgrounds, and levels of strength regularly come together on the Detroit River for fun and fitness on the water. And on this day, that included me. Full strokes. Fred Mechelon has been coaching rowing for 32 years and he's noticed something. That, uh, every four years, um, right after the Olympic, we get a spike in interest, people wanting to know about the sport. And once they start, most people stay with it. The way we run the classes and sort of ease them into it, uh, we usually have probably about an 80% uh, um, retention rate. Hubert Russell, or Apple Russ, is a great there. example. He picked up rowing late in life. I'd say around about 60. But it's stuck, and 25 years later... I'm 85. Well, I will be 85 in December. He's still rowing with his trademark stogie in his mouth, which, for the record, he never lights. Rowing is really number one. Better than any kind of workout you get, 100%. Henry Ford Hospital sports medicine physician Dr. Randy Shehab agrees. Rowing's fantastic. If, if you were to ask me, it's the, the, the closest thing to a perfect exercise we have. It does improve your cardiovascular fitness. It also improves your muscle strength and endurance. Um, it's great uh, low impact exercise. So if somebody has bad knees or bad hips, they can still do it. When you're working with a team, half the workout is getting the equipment in and out of the water. But for many people, a home or gym rowing machine is a great answer. We're not doing this story because I do it, but I row every single day. And I was really curious to see whether rowing on the water would be the same as rowing on a rowing machine. And it turns out rowing on the water is a lot more fun and a little bit harder because of the balance. We have people from 21 to 84 years old that, that are doing it, um, you know, and they sort of blend together. No, you're not never too old. You could start at 80 if you wanted to. Now, thanks again to the Wyandotte Boat Club for having me out. While it was a ton of fun to get out on the water, it really was. You don't have to join a boat club for the health benefits. Rowing machines used at home or a gym, they work great to generate a truly thorough workout, and they are admittedly more convenient any time of the day or season of the year. You just have to start gradually and build up. Devin and I were just saying, it seems like that's the piece of equipment at the gym that nobody wants to get open. on. <laughs> right, for whatever on. reason. It's really a but, shame yeah. because it really yeah, is a great exercise. Even with a cigar. <laughs> Love the cigar. Love the just cigar. don't light it. <laughs> Ernie, 